Hello everyone. The next problem in indices is question number nine. If x to the power of one by p is equal to y to the power of one by q equal to z to the power of one by r and x, y, z equal to one, then find the value of p plus q plus r. So here, uh, three terms are equal. So I, what I will do, I will equate it to something common means since all these are equal, I'll equate it to some constant k. I'm assuming it as k. That means individually I can write it as is equal to k. That means if I want to only x, what should I do? I should take to the power of p on both sides. So this p will get cancelled in the left side, 1 by p, p. That means you will have x is equal to k to the power of p. Similarly, I can say 1 y should be equal to k to the power of q and z should be equal to k to the power of r. Now, let us multiply these three. This is the first equation, second equation, third equation. I will say 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 will give us x into y into z that is equal to k to the power of p into k to the power of q into k to the power of r. That will give you k to the power of p plus q plus r. Now, x, y, z is given in the question as 1. 1 should be can be equated to k to the power of p plus q plus r. This 1 can be written as k power 0 because k power anything to the power of 0 is 1. Any real number to the power of 0 is 1. So I can write this 1 as k power 0. Now these two bases common k and k that means I can equate the indices. So that implies p plus q plus r equal to 0. That is what is asked. Find the value of p plus q plus r and that is actually 0. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.